Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is the second consecutive video with high winds. So we're here, this is actually the Wednesday, first week of class with the student activities fair happening behind us, balloon arches blowing all over the place and uh, a, a great way for our students to participate in their student activities fair to learn about ways to get involved. And there's no better representatives of our student body than our president and vice president of student government, Connor Ferguson and Maya Orvis. Welcome, we're glad you could join us today. Thank you. And Connor, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is Connor Ferguson. I'm a senior this year majoring in information systems with a minor in cybersecurity, and I come from Maple Grove, Minnesota. Good. And Maya, how about you? My name is Maya Orvis. I'm the student body vice president. I come from Cross Lake, Minnesota, and I'm majoring in medical laboratory science and minoring in pre medicine. Awesome. And Connor, I know there's a lot for our new students and our old students uh, to be involved with this year. Please share some thoughts about student activities this year. Yeah. Uh, we have so many clubs and organizations to get involved with, and they really uh, add to the fabric of our university. There's so much fun. So I can just I can take some time to urge students to get involved on campus, however that, uh, whatever that means for you, if it's an academic uh, organization, a cultural affiliation organization, just joining for fun. You don't even have to be part of the, part of the major to join a major specific organization, but find a place to, to find new friends, to engage in new ideas, and really make your college experience all that it can be. Yeah, make new connections. And Maya, there might be some key student-focused initiatives that you've been thinking about as well. Yeah, we have a lot of really exciting initiatives for this upcoming year, so I'll just touch on a few. One's uh, Wellness Center Revitalization, looking to update the Wellness Center, better suit the needs of our growing student body. Another is getting more scholarship opportunities in the upcoming legislative session. And then one that I'm super excited about is partnering with Grow UND. They have both a production and a learning garden here on campus, so getting more of that more Yeah, out. Two Gardens, the newest one right outside uh, the College of Nursing and Professional exactly. Disciplines. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Awesome. Good. Thank you. You've had some. Yes. Yes. So, Connor, I see you're holding something, and uh, show and tell time. What's this yes. about? Yes, show and tell. This is a green bandana. Um, what this signifies is that a student, if they have it tied on their backpacks, has gone through the training um, that's offered typically through the Counseling Center and student government, um, that they know what services are offered at UND. So if you see someone, they can act as a peer resource to tell you, you know, what services are offered and how to find the best help for you. Now to mention, they're not uh, licensed therapists, but they are peer advocates and they can help you out to find uh, the services that you need here at UND and in the greater Grand Forks community. So Maya, if somebody's in need, they're, they're stressed and they, they see somebody with a green bandana, what should they do? Um, you can go up to them and they can point you in the right direction towards more resources. Great, but they're, again, they're not, not licensed, licensed counselors or therapists. Just peer resources, yes. Awesome, yes. good. And then Connor, other sources of information. How do people find out more about about this, uh, this great resource for our campus. You can find more information on the Counseling Center website at und.edu, specifically under the Outreach Services tab. We will also be putting on an event with Counseling Services uh, to hold green bandana training. So if you'd like to get a green bandana and help out your fellow students, uh, there's free food involved. It's a great way to get, um, you know, to get back to the community here in Grand Forks. So many thanks to student government for, for leading that initiative and so many other ways. Your leadership on campus is just so important. And then in addition, our counseling center is actively involved. They provide the training for those who are going to wear the green bandanas. But as you see people around campus wearing them, um, even if you're not seeking their services, make sure to thank them for what they've chosen to do, just to be a resource to say, I'm here, I'm willing to help. So it's an important feature. So thank you so much. And then in addition, I wanted to draw your attention to September as the month uh, where we honor and recognize Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. And so this is a great time to recognize those who are participating in the Green Bandana Project. And then in addition, I wanted to draw everybody's attention to one more resource. We've updated a site on our UND website called Safe UND. And beyond uh, mental health and behavioral health resources, it talks about other resources available to promote safety and well being on our campus. Please check it out. And until next time, please enjoy the early parts of the semester. I think sporting events are gonna start happening, concerts are gonna happen. There's just so much life to our campus. Incredible momentum here at the University of North Dakota, and we'll see you soon.